Hi, my name is Jen and I'm with the Volusia County Public Library Hope Place branch. And today's craft will be a recycled magazine bowl. This was made with two recycled magazines. You can make it much bigger. You can use it for all kinds of things to hold trinkets or even maybe even a planter. Um, let me get some items together and show you how to make it. The items that we'll need to make our recycled magazine bowl are just um, a couple of old magazines. What I found to be the easiest, I'm using a wooden dowel. It, this one is quarter inch. Um, I found this to be a very good size. It depends on how thick you want your layers on your bowl. Quarter inch dowel is what we're going with today. I would keep a couple of bands ha um, handy <laughs> because we're gonna do a lot of rolling um, and your fingers might need a break for a moment. You're going to need basic tape. And also later we'll be using the Mod Podge. To make our magazine bowls, we need to roll up a bunch of cylinders um, with the magazines and then we're gonna flatten them. This bowl was made using two magazines worth of cylinders. Uh, today we're gonna go with about one. You can make it all different heights. You can even go higher. You can make a big planter. Um, let me show you how to start that. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through your magazine and it doesn't matter what page it's on. As you can clearly see, I have pages where you can see print, where you see lots of color. Um, so I'm gonna start with one with lots of color. So what I'm gonna do is I want this page to show up on my roll. So I'm going to put that page down, making sure, um, I'm not even gonna bother trimming off the edges if you just pull it right out of the magazine. So just make sure that the edge is pointed towards you as well and you're gonna take your dowel and put it in this bottom corner and fold, and then we're just gonna roll. So the one thing you wanna do is, we're not in this instance, but just don't lose your dowel in the rolling because it makes it hard to get it back out. Okay, so now we're all rolled up. We're rolled up tight and we have this little lift left. So all we're gonna do just take a piece of tape, and you don't want a really big piece, and just push it down, okay? Gently grab the center where the dowel is, and just pull it out. If you pull too hard, or it will start to unravel the dowel, or the, I'm sorry, the cylinder, and then it will become uneven. The reason why we're using the quarter inch dowel is so that all the um, pieces will be even. So now that we have our roll, you can do this one of two ways. You can start in the center and you can just push and flatten it. Or if you would like, you can just do it like a rolling pin. But either way, we're left with this flat cylinder. Well, it's not a cylinder anymore, but we're left with this flat piece of magazine. So I'm going to go through and do a bunch and I'll get back to you and show you how to start assembling your bowl. So for this part, we're going to, I had made a couple of uh, magazines worth of the flat rolls. And then I have my tape and I'm keeping my rubber bands closed just in case I need a little bit of a break with my hands. Um, I rolled all of my cylinders and flattened them first. You can do half, you can do whatever you want. You wanna do half, of the cylinders and then the roll, it's up to you. Basically, the reason why we want them the same size is because we're going to fit them inside of each other. So what we're gonna do is see that opening? And if some go easier than others. I just had to find the, try the other side first. Okay, so we have an opening over there. We're just gonna slide those in and then we just tape it together run tape tape over the top so they're together okay so this is where the rolling comes in you can start with a toothpick in the center or if you feel confident we're just going to start with a very tight roll in our center and this can be a little frustrating, but it's worth it. Just 
once we start getting that roll going, it'll become a lot easier. And this will be the base of our bowl. So that is what we're looking for, just rolling. And I promise the rolling will get easier. <laughs> it's already starting to get bigger as we go. And I'll try not to do as much on the table. Just make sure to keep it tight. What I like to do is lock it down with my two thumbs and keep rolling. You can do this on the table. I'm just trying not to shake the, my, the camera too much. Okay, so. I'm gonna start rolling, keeping it straight. Roll tight, roll tight. When you come to the tape, that's why you don't want a big chunk of tape. Don't pull too hard because you don't want to pull it apart. But that's the part that'll give you the most resistance because there's tape there. So just rolling. Okay. And before you get to your next one, pick whatever color you want. And you're just going to slide them into each other. They'll go, you just have to, sometimes you have to give them a little bit of help. Sometimes other sides are better than others. There we go. So we've slid them into each other. I'm gonna put a piece of tape there. And make sure to hold on to that, hold on to that um, piece that you've already rolled. I'm gonna fold that down, make sure it's tight. And then we're just gonna keep rolling. And this is about the point where I'll show you what the rubber bands are for. Because if you have any arthritis or carpal tunnel, Gent, gently but firmly pull tight to make sure that everything's tight. So if your hands just needed a break for a moment, this is where you would take your rubber band. Make sure that you're in the middle so you don't lose what you've done already. And there you go. So when you're ready to keep going, We'll do one more together. So when you're ready for your next color, sorry, I'm doing it upside down. Okay, so we'll just slide them. They don't have to be completely interlocked, you know, interlocking by inches, but as long as they come together, we put our tape. Half on one side, bend it over for the other side. So we lock it down, and then we're rolling. So this is the beginning of the bottom of our roll, and we will do a couple more together. Sometimes what I like to do is just make sure, so we keep it tight, make sure to hold the ends, and do it in a couple places, because you don't want Wiggy wommy bowl. Okay. So now we're going to add another one. And there we go. Okay. Don't let go of what you've done. Put your tape on your edges. And we're gonna roll. 
So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to add, I'm going to come out just a little bit further and then I'm going to show you how to make your bowl. Okay. So this is about two magazines worth of layers. Um, it's not perfectly centered. I don't expect it to be. Um, we should just try to get it as close to center as we can. Uh, I thought this purple was a perfect way to end as this will be our top of our bowl. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tape down this very last piece with a small piece of tape. Afraid to lose it, all that work. So just tape it down really well. And I'm going to do a couple pieces because not only is it wound really tight, but I would be very unhappy if it came apart. Okay? So if in any part of this, if you had any like little pieces of tape that you thought would bother you, because um, we folded the tape over, um, you can just snip them off with scissors as you go. Okay, so now we're going to form our bowl. So let me go ahead and set this down. Push it as flat as I can. Get the tape out of the way. And if you've ever done any kind of clay sculpting, that's basically how we're going to do it because we're going to you have your base and we're going to slowly bring these layers up. Make sure that you have enough on your bottom to where the bowl stands straight. But remember, you have a quarter inch of your magazine, so you have the ability to bring your bowl up a little bit higher. Yes, yeah, mine's a little wiggy wommy, but that's okay because then I just push down one end and bring the back bowl back back up on the outer layer and it's straighter again. Just make sure you have a very good base, okay? Make sure that that is nice and flat. Okay, if you don't like the way it formed, very gently, you can push it all the way back down again. And start again. So we'll do it one more time. So we're just going to make sure we have our base very gently. Start moving our layers up. We don't want to take any layers apart because then our whole bowl would unravel and that would be just horrible. Here we go. It's our bowl, our nice flat bottom. And I can keep coming up if I wanted to, because you can take the layers on the inside. And this could be this could be a planter. This could be a pencil holder. This could be anything you want. Okay. So there is our bowl. Let's give it a little, no, nope, it is flat. We are straight. Okay, so our last step for our bowl, so we are going to Mod Podge the inside and the outside with a couple of different coats. I would go three coats, especially if you want to make it watertight. Um, and you can use the gloss or you could use the flat. It's your preference. Just when you Mod Podge inside, try and move quickly because it is paper. 
and you don't want to take a chance of that paper getting wet and then um, coming apart. And every bowl is going to look a little bit different. So never fear because they're all very, very cool. And this Mod Podge will dry clear. Okay. So, I'll put it on my plate. This is our finished recycled magazine bowl. We've gone over it with Mod Podge on all sides. Um, I would give it four layers at least to go ahead and make it watertight. Again, whether or not you choose gloss or a matte finish is up to you. I plan on using this for a succulent planter. Um, this took about one and a half magazines. This one was two magazines. I think it was a larger publication and that is why it was, it's a little bit bigger. But as you can see, both bowls, two bowls, none, none the like. Um, they're very, very cool to have around. So I hope you enjoyed my video and please join us at volusialibrary.org or go to our Facebook page for Volusia County Library or you can check us out on our YouTube channel where Volusia is getting crafty. Thank you. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.